Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. A little while ago, I met a young man named Victor who's interested in mathematics, and he's also interested in MathCAD Prime. Now, there's also a new version of Prime out, Prime 11, so it's probably a good time to do an update. For this video, I'm going to start with just an intro and, and enough information to get you started. I'll have some other videos on some more of the details. But if you're just starting out, this will be enough to get you going and doing calculations. Now to start, MathCAD Prime is the easiest way I know of to beat numbers out of a computer. There are many programming languages and some of them are quite powerful, but there's just nothing easier than this that I know of. MathCAD Prime is kind of like a scratch pad. It looks very much like your page would if you were writing things down by hand. And it's live, so that if you make a change up top, that change cascades down through the sheet, kind of like on a spreadsheet. There's not much syntax, and it's very easy to read. So for all that, it's really easy to use, and I don't use a calculator anymore. It's been a long time since I've even owned a calculator, because I have this. I don't need a calculator anymore. OK, so let's get started. Now, when you start the, the MathCAD Prime up, it's probably going to look something like this. Now, you may not have grid lines on it. Now for starters, I want to change the orientation from portrait to landscape. So I'm going to go to these tabs up here, and you can see I've got the document tab open. So I'm just going to click that and go to landscape. There's that. Now that's good, but um, I want to take up more of the screen. Also, you, it, you may not see the grid when you first start it up. It may look like that. I prefer to have the grid. Now there is a, also a fine grid. That seems like a little much. I, I tend to do better with the standard grid, but you do whatever you like. I'm also going to go down here and I'm going to zoom in quite a ways because I know some of us are looking at this on phones and I want to use up as much of the screen as I can. So there's that. Let's see. Let's zoom in just a smidge farther. There we go. That'll be enough. We'll be able to use that. Now the first thing we need to know how to, is how to do just basic calculations. So on the tab here, I'm going to go all the way to the left, and I'm going to click on Math. Now you're going to be here most of the time, I think, if you're like me. And let's just click under Operators here. See all that stuff? Some of it's pretty dang handy, but the one we're going to worry about right now is Definition and Evaluations, right here. There are several different kinds of equal signs in MathCAD Prime. And there's three of them that we're going to be particularly interested in. First one is this. It's called definition. And it's a colon equals. Now see that between the parenthesis here? That colon there means you can just type a colon on the keyboard if you want, and that's a shortcut. Or you can just click right there. That works too. This next one is called evaluation. And that really is the equal sign on the keyboard. We're going to skip this one, this global definition, and we're going to go over to here to symbolic evaluation, which, if you want to use the shortcut, is control plus, or I'm sorry, control dot. So what do these do? Well, this one, like definition suggests, is where you're telling MathCAD something. Here, you're wanting it to tell you something. And here, you want it to tell you something not numerical, but symbolic. So we're going to use all of those here in a minute. Before I get too much farther, I should probably point out that the name MathCAD is probably not the best name. It doesn't have anything to do with CAD, as you're thinking of it. It isn't a graphics package at all. I don't know why they picked MathCAD, but here we are. All right, so let's start here. Let's take a variable, and I'm going to say x. Now, if I want to go to Operators and click right there, there it is, and say maybe x equal 4. Well, let's see. Let's just type in sign x. And I'm going to hit the equal sign on the keyboard, which is the same as this one right here, the evaluation. So right there, I told MathCAD something. And here, I want it to tell me something. Well, there it is. Man, that's a lot of uh, decimal places. Let's go back to math formatting here. See right there? From a previous uh, calculation, I had it set to nine decimal places. That's kind of a lot. Let's back it up to about four. That seems good enough. And all you have to do is click the up or down arrows to uh, increase or decrease the number of decimal places. So there we go. Now, is four in degrees or radians? Well, it's in radians. Unless you tell it otherwise, this is always going to be in radians. Well, let's say I want it to be degrees. How do I do that? Just click there. 
go to math, see over here where it says units? Click there. Let's see, I want an angle. Angle, so how about I'm gonna put degrees, D-E-G right there. There you go. Now if I click somewhere else, it'll recalculate. Now, four degrees is pretty close to zero, and sine of zero is zero. So we'd expect this to get a lot smaller, and it does. Let's see what happens when we type in cosine. Now cosine of zero is pretty close to one, so this should be pretty close to one, and it is. Well, what if I didn't mean four degrees? What if I meant 3.5 degrees? There, see how it recalculated right there? So let's say I wanna do something a little more complicated. I'm hitting the space bar to highlight all that, and when I hit the divide button, that's what happens. Hit the space bar twice. There's that. Okay, now this doesn't have any physical meaning as far as I know. It's just an example here. What happens if I delete this? Well, I get an error because I haven't defined x, have I? Let's back up here a second. Let's try something. I'm going to go to operators. I'm going to hit the right there. That's a derivative, finding a slope. So I'm going to say derivative with respect to x, and I'm just going to cut that and paste it right in there. Okay? Now, is it going to give me an error? No. But I haven't asked it for anything either. So I'm going to push this over here, and right there, I'm going to hit the right arrow key right there, I'm going to, I'm going to go to operators, and right there, I'm going to hit symbolic evaluation. Oh, look. There's the symbolic answer. Hmm. No error, right? No, no number, but no error. MathCat is just as happy doing symbolic calculations as it is numerical calculations. In fact, it's even better than that. If you want, you could assign this to a function. So let me do that. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit the left arrow until I'm right there. And I'm going to hit shift colon. That's a assignment or definition. And let's just call this f of x. All right? Now I've got a function that's now defined as that, whatever that is. Can I evaluate that? You bet. There it is. What if I want to change this? Well, I didn't really mean cosine. I meant cosine squared. Will it reevaluate? Yeah, and that didn't change very much, but it did change. So this is live. I made that change. It changed the derivative symbolically. In fact, let's let's stretch this out. There it is, and it, ch it changed it numerically. So this is pretty handy. Well, could I plot this? Sure. Now I have no idea what this is going to look like, so let's just try it. I may be changing it here again in a minute. Let's go to plots, insert plot, xy plot. All right? Now I'll warn you, there's two different kinds of plots. This is something called a quick plot that's very simple. There's another kind that's a little more involved, but you have a lot more control over formatting. For right now, let's just stick with quick plots. There's f, or x I should say. There's f of x, and there it is. That's what it looks like. I can stretch this out if I like. Now where did it pick the plot limits of minus 10 to plus 10? Well, it just guessed. I didn't tell it. Let's go in here. Let's make it go from maybe minus 5 to plus 5. There we go. It recalculated for me. And right now I'm going from minus 0 0.6 to 1.05 on the vertical. Let's go from 1.2 maybe to minus 1.2. There. Now it auto-corrected. It went to 1.25. What if I want to change the step size here? I can just make that one minus 4.5 over here, and that'll tell it that I want to change the step size all the way across. So there it is. Now the last thing I want to tell you about is units. MathCAD is really good at tracking units. Let me just clear this out. 
just highlighted all that and hit delete. And let's say I have a mass of 2.5, and I want that to be in kilograms. So I'm going to click on the math tab. See where it says units right here? Click that. And I'm just going to scroll up until I get to mass. And let's make that kilograms. Let's have an acceleration of 4.5. I'm going to give that meters per second. I can just type that in. M is reserved for meters over seconds. That's going to be squared. And there it is. You can kind of see that that's blue, indicating that's a unit. Well, what's F going to be? I mean, F is defined as M star, I'm sorry, mass star A, and I'm going to hit an equal sign. And there it is, 11.25 newtons. Well, what if I don't want it in newtons? What if I want it in something else? I can hit that, and I'm going to backspace, go back to units, and let's go to force. How about, uh, well, here's pound force. Let's just pick that. There it is in pounds force. Is 11.25 newtons 2.529 pounds? Yeah, pretty close. That sounds right. I'm going to back up here a little bit. There. There we go. And it's even better than this. Right here, I define both of those in metric units. I don't have to. Let's do something really silly. Let's make this inches. See how it did recalculated? It'll take whatever units you give it, convert everything to metric internally, do the calculation, and then present the result in metric units unless you ask for something else. And there are some crazy units in here. Let's say we want a length. Let's see. Let's go back to math, units, and let's go to length here. There it is right there. How about nautical miles? That's a nanometer. That's a nautical mile. There's a cubit. Wow, OK, cubits per second squared. What is a cubit? Let's go back to cubits here. And let's hit equals. Ah, one cubit is 0 0.4572 meters. Well, how many feet is it? Ah, it's 1.5 feet is a cubit. So see how handy this is? You can convert units easily when you're doing your calculations. Just type in whatever units you've got and let MathCAD sort it out. It will, and it'll do it well. So maybe we should stop there. So we've had an intro. I've showed you how to set up the paper. We can do some basic math now. Showed you what the three kinds of equal signs are that you'll use most of the time. We tried symbolics, we tried plots, and we tried units. That's not a bad start. There'll be more videos to come, so check back in a little while. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.